So, hi, my name's Harris, I'm a medical student, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what you can expect about life after qualifying conventional and non-conventional routes in medicine. All right, so conventionally, we're talking about classically doing two year training period called F1, F2. These are your junior doctor years, and in here you're rotating around usually three, four month rotations and something that you picked beforehand. Conventionally, you do your two years and then you go down either three different, that's four, three different options. We're talking hospital medicine, we're talking surgery, and we're talking GP. And each of those have different lengths of training, uh, and many different avenues in there. Out of those three options I've said, GP is usually the shortest training and there you can expect to train for about three, four years to eventually become a fully registered GP. Surgery medicine, you're looking for a little bit longer, but with both those careers or all three of those careers, not only have you got the standard stuff, stuff like hearts, lungs, surgery, GP, there's also more niche subjects coming into play. So the more interesting things that are happening now and things that people don't really think about is specialising in things like space medicine, exploration medicine, stuff like going on expeditions around the world. This could be up mountains to the North Pole, South Pole, particularly in war zones. And this links to the next point I was going to make, uh, which is about charity work, which a lot of doctors do when they get to a stage where they're quite experienced. And they go abroad and volunteer their time working in either war-stricken areas or areas of extreme poverty and poor healthcare systems where you can go do a bit of work for free help the local community um, and not only does it feel good for yourself but you're helping the people in those communities as well another interesting field is something called sports medicine this is becoming a bigger field now sports are becoming more professional so you can think about club doctors um, football rugby but this is a expanding field and definitely want to consider if you're interested in sports and a career in medicine Another big thing to think about is, and what's happening more and more, is when you get to the end of F2 and you don't know what you want to do, then more and more people are taking what is known as an F3 year. And this is a year you can take out of practicing and do whatever you want. A lot of people go abroad, they travel, and you can supplement your income by doing a bit of locum work, which you can think of like being a supply teacher doing a bit of locum work and actually enjoying your freedom before picking what career you want to go down as you usually have to commit quite a bit of time so a lot of people and more and more people are taking time out at the end of second year of foundation training and traveling and doing whatever they want so i've described the conventional routes following qualification so your hospital medicine surgery and gp and a few of the niche uh, and of alternative careers that you might not have thought of now i want to talk a little bit about non-conventional medical careers or careers that you can use your medicine degree for but might not be what you initially thought of. So one thing to think about is if you don't want to do clinical work you might be interested in management and the first place to think about is management in your local trust. So this could be for example Nathumbria, Newcastle, Sussex, anywhere. This is an organisation that runs the services in your local area and there's plenty of opportunities for a management role here and in this role you'd be thinking about the best allocation of resources in your local area whether this be a hospital or GP. If you want to think about more of the financial side and the economics, then there's plenty of options available with a medical degree. You can use those management skills you might have used in your local area and use it on a bigger scale. Uh, and this is called medical consultancy. And um, This is a technical way of saying you work for one of the big companies, KPMG, Ernest Young, and in this role, you would go and audit how well companies are running. So audit is simply a process of looking at a company, seeing how efficiently it runs and whether you can improve that service and give them recommendations. So if you're the type of person who wants to make a bigger impact on a larger scale, looking at big companies, then medical consultancy might be the one for you. An obvious thing to think about with the financial sector is looking at the pure finance side. So with your medical degree, it's a professional degree that gives you so many more options of things to do. Typically, a lot of medicine, uh, medical students who qualify or doctors who practice for a few years that switch to finance look for careers in the banking sector so this could be your traditional high street banks this could be looking at the investment banks this could also be stock brokering so if you're more interested in stocks and shares and there's more niche 
financial sector such as investment banking that I've mentioned and insurance as well so when people talk about finance you've got loads of options there a very big sector to think about and a very lucrative sector is the pharmaceutical industry this is a massive industry and if you're looking for a career that maximizes the potential of earnings then the pharmaceutical industry is definitely one to think about in this industry you're responsible for researching and developing new drugs for common conditions out there so improving the current treatments we have and finding new treatments for new conditions and so by working in the pharmaceutical industry you'll be helping developing these researching them and then bringing them out onto the market and i said this is a very lucrative job so if you want to again have a high impact on a vast number of people and maximize your earnings then think about the pharmaceutical industry if you want to get away completely from the clinical side and the scientific side um, but still use your medical degree then a good option would be medical journalism. There are plenty of art subjects out there that you can use your medical degree for. And medical journalism, again, is a big expanding field. People like Michael Mosley and other medical doctors um, writing books that become very, very popular now. Um, a few junior doctors have wrote some as well. So there's an opportunity there for using your experience in the clinical setting and writing literature on that or working for newspapers and online especially online websites now blogs and writing about the health sector again a lucrative offer if you can get that job however it's a very competitive field and you probably will have to have some journalistic experience the final thing i'd like to talk about in this video is medical law this is an opportunity to use your medical degree in a non-clinical setting and especially for people who enjoy using their analytical skills their investigative skills they can use that and go into the law sector and focus on a subspecialty of law known as medical law here you're going to be using your medical knowledge to look at medical cases so medical legal cases where patients have had difficulties in hospitals or in their treatment or their access to services and you'll be responsible for looking at the cases and seeing if um, there are any legs to that. You might also be working for organizations like the GMC or on the medical side, analyzing doctor's practice. And so again, there's plenty of opportunities using your medical degree for careers outside of medicine. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully if you're a medical student thinking of applying to medicine or just interested in the subject, that this has been helpful. My name's Harris. 